The continent is on the front lines of many of this century's most pressing threats. From mass migration to food insecurity, from COVID-19 to the climate crisis, from the drumbeat of autocracy to the dangers of terrorism. These challenges threaten us all together. And so we must tackle them all together. The African Land Forces Summit is the chief of staff for the Army-sponsored event. It normally takes place on the African continent. And it brings together over 45 land force commanders from all over the continent and they discuss security cooperation and how we can strengthen our alliances and our partnerships. African prosperity and, and security uh, in Africa is, uh, is a U.S. interest. We do a lot of things on the continent. It really contributes to the CTAF AF mission, which is to protect the American people and American interests. We do that by working with, with our allies and partners. We hope that as time goes on, we'll be able to expand our participation and our cooperation with the U.S. in country as well as on the continent. So the SFAB operates as a, a conventional force within CTAF and we're able to take smaller teams down on the continent and put them on with partner nation forces. We have to be able to understand what those rules are for the country, what those teams are expecting, what those countries are expecting. And there's a lot of different things that might not be understood at certain levels, but we have, we have an understanding of it because of our direct relationship with CTAF. African Lion is the premier joint multinational exercise in the AFRICOM area of responsibility. What these events enable us to do is to accurately and uh, specifically identify our shared objectives and how we're going to train together in order to increase our interoperability and uh, prepare our readiness within the region. The continent of Africa is one of the toughest theaters um, uh, for, for force health protection. We do a lot of planning with our partners. We do this for both for our own medical readiness, where we build a medical ready force, but also in order to build those relationships with our partners so that we can get a better understanding of the theater that, that we work in, in order to uh, build a knowledge base. The TAC is a conglomeration of different warfighting functions to include uh, command and control, logistics, uh, human resources, operations, and anybody who may be necessary in order to provide a forward presence uh, wherever they deploy us to. CTAF oversees uh, crisis responses along with AFRICOM. If they require a crisis response force to go and defuse or aid the situation, we are serving as that element, so we're staged to be able to move at a moment's notice in order to help with the prescribed mission set. 